Today, President Obama answered questions about his strategy in dealing with ISIS following the brutal killing of yet a second American journalist. This journalist named Stephen Sotloff. Our Chris Jansing has the latest. Ladies and gentlemen. The yeah, president in confirming that this is indeed an authentic video of the brutal beheading of Stephen Sotloff. I want to say that today the prayers of the American people are with the family of a devoted and courageous journalist, Stephen Sotloff also condemning that action and vowing the U.S. will degrade and destroy ISIS to the point where it becomes a manageable problem. And those who make the mistake of harming Americans will learn that we will not forget and that our reach is long and that justice will be served. The question is, what is he willing to do next? Clearly, he's going to leave Estonia later today. He's traveling to the NATO summit in Wales. He wants to build a coalition while pressure is building on him and the White House to take action. When we send our pilots in to do a job that we know that this is a mission that's going to work, that we're very clear on what our objectives are. Senior White House officials tell me that there is no indication that this has changed in any way the president's view of the dangers posed by ISIS. And there certainly was no indication in the press conference this morning that the president had changed his strategy to build that coalition. And in fact, it comes at a time when U.S. Senator Bill Nelson from Florida is suggesting that he will propose legislation for Congress to authorize the president to do airstrikes in Syria. There is a list that was drawn up by Pentagon and intelligence officials, but no indication uh, the president is ready to take action on that. I'm Chris Chansing.